There it is. There it is. Look at that. I am absolutely blown away right now. <laughs> oh, pura vida. Just kidding. <laughs> We are on location in the tropical rainforest of Costa Rica in search of some pretty spectacular snakes. As you can tell, I'm excited. Yes, the view's great, but I'm so excited to find the snakes here. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Stay tuned, it's gonna be a good time. And there it is. We're in Costa Rica. Are you ready to find some snakes and frogs? Why, yes, yes I am. <laughs> it's not a bad first morning really pretty. This morning's kind of a bonus morning where uh, we're in transit from our stay tonight. But we have a little bit of time this morning, so we're gonna walk around, see if we can't find something. We just walked up on the first snake of the trip, so that's pretty cool. Awesome little diurnal species. I don't even know what it is for sure, so that's funny. Yeah, I, I don't I don't know what it is. We know it's not venomous, yeah. so for all those people that are like, why'd you pick it up? It's one of the race, racer it's, type yeah. genuses, dry maluba. We will definitely confirm that. I mean, you'll probably see a species title here. I think it's a lifer for me. A basic brown looking racer. We're gonna try to snap some photos of this guy. There he goes. <laughs> all right, so this is a very busy road that we just freaking had to <laughs> Stop. It took forever to get pulled over, but jumped out and grabbed this snake. This is our Lifer Central American Liar Snake. Super cool. I mean, this is a tiny little dude. These guys get massive here. First snake of the night. Bye, little liar snake. Don't get hit by semi trucks. Okay, that was very close. Guys, I am losing my ever loving mind. <laughs> and we get on this busy highway heading back and that's my lifer freaking central american boa dude boa constrictor all right guys so last night was kind of slow but we did get some liar snakes still and then there's a massive five foot liar snake i'm really sorry about this wind i don't even know if you can hear me and i'm really sorry so they found this liar snake just outside of the uh where'd you guys find it, it was like right there freaking crazy crazy and look at the size of that liar snake dude also guys buy the merch <laughs> buy the merch. <laughs> shameless plug right there shameless oh my god <laughs> this is a no joke a five foot liar snake and here's uh dylan enjoying this little iguana <laughs> look at the width of the snake this thing is absolutely massive and he was just hanging out out here by this uh hotel what a cool snake he's got like a pinkish tone color he's a mildly venomous snake i mean it definitely wouldn't be a pleasant snake to get bit by i'm gonna put him down on the ground so you can see his size crazy what bird was i doing that with don't don't, don't kill me we are now in the upland rainforest looking for some higher tropical species and it's gonna be a good time and uh yeah Finally, it's getting dark. Temperatures are cooling down. Perfect opportunity to get in the rainforest and see what we can find. Oh, that's a lot of bats. Do you like bats? Not particularly. <laughs> that's a lot of bats. Yeah, there you go. First snake of the night is a little coffee snake. Little coffee, coffee snake. Yellow belly and kind of a cool little crown on his head. Common, but cool find. All right, so the objective is we're gonna be walking around, shining in all of these trees and on the ground, literally. Anywhere, down, middle, up. Uh, we're just gonna be walking around looking for some snakes. I got a uh... snake, snake, coral. coral. Where? Right here. Oh, it's a coral. It's yeah. a coral. It's a coral. Here, you got a hook. Yeah. Oh, it's getting away. There it goes. Yep, it got away. Oh, he's right there. He's right there. He's right under this clump. Okay. Right there. Right there. Oh wow. There you go. Beauty. Get him away from his. Cool. Is that your first coral pops? That's awesome. Woo! Nice work, Michelle. Yeah. Heck Wait, yeah. Go, oh, baby. Michelle. <laughs> I nice. was looking up, I wasn't looking down. I love yeah, when same. she goes, oh baby, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Red, black, and yellow. Yeah, I like coral. <laughs> Dang, dude, that is good stuff. There you go. Look at the twitchy little coral snake. There we go. That is not a bad second snake of the, the night, man. Good stuff. I think it's sitting still now. He was totally nailing the hook earlier, and that's where you gotta be careful with these snakes. A lot of people like to take these guys lightly, assume that they're not gonna bite. I'll insert a picture here. This dude literally hung onto the hook and would not let go, and a bite from one of these guys would not be good. Highly venomous snake and a lapid species. Super stoked to see it on the first night. Yes! Woo! 
foot high five. Hey. Oop, nice spot, Michelle. There you go, dude. Here's a nice little, oh, here he goes. There you go. Oh, whoa, whoa. Whirly. He's dancing. There you go. Third snake of the night, third species of the night. It's cool. Oh, there you go, that's your first little uh, cloudy snail eater, my friend. Sweet, all right, third snake. There you go. Oh, oh my toes are off on dude. Look at that. Fourth snake and fourth species. There you go, pretty cool. This is a calico snake. Where's his head? Look at that. Calico snake, also known as a Halloween snake. Oh, a black, Halloween. white, and orange coloration, yeah. He almost looks tricolor. I mean, it is a tricolor snake. He's got, yeah, he's got a little snake eating tree. Really? Oh, it's an eyelash viper, dude. Hey, it's my first There you one. go. There you go. We got an eyelash viper. Nice, dude. Yeah, right, Knuckles, little eyelash viper. It's a Christmas face, too. Yeah, there is. Easy. Yeah, easy. Yeah, we'll get that buddy down. Yeah, I got a hook. Okay, I'm, hook. I'm gonna pull Who's this. Who's got the biggest hook? Here. He'll wrap on the hook. Here. There it is, man. There it is. That's a pretty one for a baby. And they yeah. usually are kind of dull. That is way green. You did it, Mike. All right, here's another snake. It's a cloudy snail eater. All right, dude. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's spazzing out. There it goes. Alright guys, this is the next morning, and uh, we're going to be walking around seeing what kind of stuff we can see. I'm very tired, as you can probably tell. We got a lot of cool stuff last night. There's a few diurnal species that we can see. Obviously, the primary hunting is at night, but we're going to walk around. There's definitely some stuff we can find, so we're going to walk around and see what we can do about that. I just spotted a night lizard. Got it. Okay. Check that out. That's crazy. Crazy cool. Look at that. That is a... Tropical night lizard. One of the coolest freaking night lizards. Look at that thing, dude. He was just out moving around during the day. That's not what I expected. Freaking li out lizard. That bite hurts more than you think it would. I mean, they sure do got the teeth. You can see it. Oh, but I mean, the top of their head looks like a freaking um, snapping turtle head, man. I mean, look at that. It's just so prehistoric looking. Anyway, he obviously wants to be let go. So we're going to do that. Cool. Oh. All right, Dylan's got himself a parrot snake. <laughs> Gave him a little bit of a bite on his fingers, <laughs> you can see. But uh, super cool snake. These guys are known to do a fun little display when they are when they feel threatened, which is if you tap them a little bit, <laughs> they'll open their mouth like that and give, give you a little bit of a bite. But for the most part, they're a lot more bark than they are bite. But super cool arboreal species. It's got a super cool copper stripe going down the back. Bright blue tongue. <laughs> He's a little bit grumpy. You can find them at night up in the trees sleeping, but for the most part, their activity is throughout the day, feeding on little anoles and amoebas and ground dwelling species of lizard. But what a cool snake! There, there it is. There it is. There it is. Look at that. Look at this thing. Holy smokes. Holy freaking smokes. Look how gorgeous that snake is. That is absolutely. <laughs> Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Um, okay. Okay, okay. Oh. Guys, check that beast out. This right here is a Central American boa. The snake that we've been wanting to see in Costa Rica for the past four times we've been in Costa Rica. Yes, you're, you're very grumpy, I know. You're very grumpy. You want to go look over there so the camera can see you? Holy crap, man. This snake is ridiculous. I know, sweetheart. I think there's no <laughs> calming this snake down. We're going to try, but... Calm down. Calm down. Whoa. Calm thoughts, buddy. This snake is huge. I could easily hold this guy's head, maintain control, but uh, the problem with that is with such a huge snake is that if I were to hold his head and he were to make any jerk movements and I was only holding the neck, despite him being an incredibly, incredibly, incredibly strong snake, that's the weakest part of their body that they don't um, naturally, um, oh gosh, this is terrifying, where they don't naturally hold weight. 
very weak part of their neck, not something you want to do unless you're wanting to risk the health and well-being of this snake. Now, I will admit that me messing with this snake to begin with isn't the ideal situation for the snake to begin with. Okay, because ugh, this does induce a form of stress. We were buddies for a second there. I know, take, take a breather. This is an experience I've been waiting to have in the wild for a very long time. This is considerably a quite common snake, actually, throughout their distribution. You can kind of get an idea for this snake's size. Absolutely massive. He's still a little bit spicy. And they do deserve respect. Although he's not venomous, they do inflict a pretty uh, painful bite. Most snakes do calm down as soon as they kind of, they realize that they're not being predated on. I know it's easy to be afraid of these snakes, especially if you live in the area, um, but these guys are awesome pest control. And you're thinking, well, I would rather have mice than I would have snakes. But let me tell you, mice are gonna mess up your property. They're gonna get up all in your stuff. They're gonna make nests, have babies, chew your wires, chew your garden, all that stuff. When these guys, they'll be there, they'll live there. So long as you leave them alone, they'll leave you alone and your house will be fully intact. Your wires will be fully intact. Your garden will be fully intact. And in fact, these guys are probably gonna help your garden and help your environment in your yard. So I'm going to back away. Thank you so much, I'm so sorry. All right, well, let's keep moseying along, see what else we can see, but so glad I could share that with you guys. This morning was a successful walk and it's about time for me to switch into my swimsuit and just relax in the pool because a lot of walking around, I think you get to a point where you deserve to sit in the pool for a while. Not the worst place in the world to look for snakes. That big, thing is insane. Isn't that a beautiful? Oh, just yeah. right here? Got a little mousey right there. So. That's a frontier. Wow. It is just boa central. Hi, sweetheart. She's actually pretty tame. Wow. Yeah, that's amazing, huh? Look at the colors. Knocks on the door when you're taking The guy said it at the front desk. It was in reception. It was in reception. Yeah. It came through the, the front right door. In. It came inside, huh? That's The other boa was big. This boa is... Stunning. Quite the surprise, man. Look at the coloration on that thing. It's just the oranges and the reds. Just ridiculous. Surprise, it's a boa. boa e day Bring him out. Oh, Bring him out. God. Show him to the camera. There he comes. Down the hill. That was easily the hardest workout I've done in a really long time. I'm going to throw up. Well, this is exactly what we were targeting. 